of a single roll of the dice, okay, about why America must get back to the bargaining table with Iran. But why, sir? Haven't we dodged a bullet by walking away from the power-mad mullahs who want to bomb Israel and wipe it off the map? Actually, what President Obama was doing in these negotiations was a huge favor to Israel. Because if the deal had gone through, if the French had not changed the goalposts in the last minute, there actually would be a closing of the opportunity for the Iranians to build a nuclear weapon. And that actually would help Israel's security and many other people's security, and most importantly, America's security. Okay, I'm gonna so call, this I'm gonna was call, nothing I'm gonna to say. Two ways here. Well, okay. <laughs> First of all, the French can't move goalposts. They don't play football, okay? <laughs> They play what they call football. Anyway, the second thing is, how are we actually helping Israel? How are we actually stopping Iran from getting a bomb? Because all we asked is for a reduction in their nuclear capabilities. In exchange, we give them six months of cash, sell their oil, unfreeze their accounts. Six months from now, they say, hey, thanks for the cash. We're going to go back to building our bomb. Israel, boom, boom, boom. They get to blame us. Not at all. Here's why you're wrong. No, this. absolutely, yes. <laughs> So here's what is going to happen. This was supposed to be an interim deal in order to reach a later deal about six months from now when the final agreement were to be negotiated. But you just, but that's trusting, thing. that's trusting no, Mouhani. No, it's not trusting. That's trusting Mouhani, right? No. You know what it is trusting? It's trusting the agreement. The agreement that verifies that the other side is not cheating. It's not about trusting the other side at this point. But more importantly, how can we, you're trust, how about can we trust any agreement with these people? They haven't even it's released the, the hostages yet. <laughs> it's day 12,428. Let Ben Affleck go. <laughs> So, <laughs> the sanctions are working. The point is, the, the sanctions are working, aren't they? I would actually say no. The sanctions are working in the sense of destroying the economy but of the But they wouldn't be coming to the bargaining table they if we didn't the have the sanctions. This is the same team that in 2005 offered to cap the Iranian nuclear program at 3,000 centrifuges. Today they have 19,000 centrifuges. What the deal would have achieved is really remarkable because this would be the first time in eight years that the program, essential parts of it, would have been frozen. That's critical because that adds time to the negotiating We've got sanctions clause. sanctions on them. Are the sanctions hurting them? They are hurting them. Okay, yes. good. That's good. That's what you want. You have, to have, no, a carrot, you, want? you have to have a carrot and stick approach. You have to you know, say, we'll stop hitting you with the stick, and then when they least expect it, you stab them with the carrot. <laughs> Okay, okay, so, it, but they want a bomb, right? We know they want a bomb. Actually, the U.S. intelligence is saying that they are preparing to put everything together in order to have the option of building a bomb, but...